just doing a little little quick video of this subdivision that's being built. These houses, um, when you come into the subdivision, it it is saying that they start at three hundred and forty nine thousand. Nice, big, spacious living room. Obviously, we're going to have an island here in the kitchen, um, which is cool. Probably granite countertops. Humongous door. This is a big door. This is an eight-foot door, or better. Obviously, it's just uh, just a temporary, I'm sure. Um, eventually, they'll probably get some fancy door in there. I don't know how many bedrooms this is. I didn't count the bedrooms. Looks like a little office area back there. There's a bedroom. There's a bedroom. This looks like a family room of some sort. Another bedroom, master bedroom. And um, there's probably a bedroom downstairs and there's also a full basement. Anyway, the point of this video I have not been invited over here. <laughs> I've, I've kind of trespassed, so I'm not going to name the subdivision. I don't want to get in trouble. But um, anyway, uh, as you can see, they're building, uh, by the way, for the money that's being spent, uh, for the money that's being spent, this isn't in a jacuzzi tub. All this is is a garden tub. And they're doing a flood test on it of some sort. Yep, flood test. And they're doing a flood test on the shower. Now, <laughs> the reason I'm here, I point out on a couple of my videos where I do not believe in pre-slopes. Um, in fact, I have a video, Pre-Slope Explained, which I'll link below. And uh, I go debating with these people who are insistent that a pre-slope be done, that are insistent that a pre-slope helps. Yet there's no evidence anywhere on the internet, there's no evidence that a pre-slope actually helps. Does it hurt you to have one? Absolutely not. But does it help in the way that people think that it helps to, to, to make water go to the pan liner and then down into the weep holes and drain out? No, because of capillary action. Look it up. Capillary action doesn't care about gravity. So your water will not filtrate down to your pan liner and then roll into your drain weep holes. It will not happen. Capillary action will make sure your entire mortar is saturated 100% before it ever hits the weep holes. And by that time, you've got a bigger problem. Another comment that I get, comments that I get, oh, by the way, this is like a five-foot shower. Um, just an observation. Five by three foot shower. It's a good size shower. It's going to look really nice when it's done, I'm sure. But another comment that I get, uh, I digress, that I get a lot is that it is code to put a pre slope in. And on response to that comment, I have said go to any construction site of your choosing and find out if they're putting pre slopes in. So, <laughs> just so you know, I wish I had a flashlight. I'm reaching down inside here. And I'm feeling subfloor. I wish I could, maybe I can show it. I don't know if you can see. All there is is subfloor down there. There's absolutely no pre-slope. So they're doing a flood test, and the next step is to pour the mortar. Pouring the mortar without the pre-slope means that there's never going to be a pre-slope in here. Never. If they've already put the pan liner, which they have, and they're already doing the flood test, which they are, there'll never be a pre-slope. Uh, this is not necessarily the way that I would cut the pan liner. We have, uh, I don't use nails either, but that's just me. This is, a th this is folded on the corner here, so it's times three. I do a double fold on the corner and then and then wrap it over the curb. But again, that's me. Um, with any luck, they're going to take care of this corner. Because, I mean, really, what sense does it make to, um, to wrap the curb and then miss out on the corner? Um, just observations, my own personal observations. Anyway, the flood test seems to be working. I'm hearing 
nothing trickle down. Uh, which begs the question, where is the plug at? I hope I'm not messing up somebody else's work, but the drain cap is irrelevant. If there's a plug in there, then it doesn't matter that there's a drain cap on here. And there is a plug. That's actually um, not a plug that you would screw in. That is a plug that uh, the plumber put in there. And so that's a knockout, what they call a knockout. And so eventually they'll just knock that out with a screwdriver or something and um, that drain will be open. But they've, they've done a good job as far as, you know, everything being leak proof. So, just so you know, what new construction actually looks like as opposed to stuff I do or other people do on, uh, on the internet. So there you go. Brand new construction and no pre-slope. Here's an interesting little side note. This is uh, an exterior wall. So they put up this membrane here before they put up their wall board. And um, it's an interesting little thing I haven't seen before. It's, uh, it feels like it's waterproof, but it's not meant to be the wall board. It's just um, some type of barrier between the exterior wall and the shower itself. Ah, PEX. That's not even PEX. I don't even know what that is. If anybody knows what this is, put a comment down below. Um, I actually like it better than PEX because it looks like it just screws on. But um, still plastic pipe. I don't know. I'm old school. I can't, I can't get away from copper. I'm, I'm just not into this... Uh, newfangled plastic stuff yeah probably it's easier to work with yeah probably it's quicker but um, you know I've never seen copper degrade and um, I have seen plastic degrade so I don't know what this stuff is it's interesting though anyway there you have it brand new construction three hundred fifty thousand dollar house no pre-slope I actually stepped into uh, to another house in the same neighborhood. Um, looks like I don't know what they did. It looks like they did a flood test, and the flood test failed because they scabbed in they scabbed in some extra pan liner. But uh, I'm wondering why they scabbed in an extra piece when they could have um, just get a longer piece. Look at that corner. How are they going to get over this? So, as I mentioned on the other video, whew, holy moly. As I mentioned on the other video, they just they just didn't do this area here. Then on this one, they did the area. But I don't know how they're going to wrap their board around it and this is all messed up I don't like this at all it's not my job but still um, by the way there's no scabbing in here I always scab in two by sixes between the studs and there's no scabbing that's not a huge deal that's just my little quirk I started doing that when I first started building showers I see other people do it um, now as well it just it gives something solid for the pan liner to rest up against. So apparently they did a flood test because the knockout is gone. But then I guess they had a problem with the pan liner and then came along and scabbed in another piece and I guess they're going to do another test. Um, I don't know that I would have done this, you know. It would be a lot easier to just pull all that stuff up. A sheet this size only costs 40 bucks. Just pull all this stuff up if you fail the flood test and start all over again. You know, why scab in a piece and have all these folds and corners like this? I don't know. They didn't even wrap this side of the curb at all. 
Uh, and then they insulated this plastic stuff. As I said, if anybody knows what that is, it's definitely not PEX. Put it down in the comment section, I'm curious. I don't even know if this valve, this valve is in, you got, so this is a mud guard. This is the outside parameter of where your tile, your finished wall will be. So you need, you need to have this bumped out enough to where when you put your wall board on, which is going to be half inch, and then your tile and your thin set, your finished wall is out to here. I don't know. Uh, again, it's not my job. It's just an observation. So there you go. So I'm a little deeper into the neighborhood now. Um, this house looks to be about finished. Putting the brick siding on. And um, this will be interesting. Ooh, here's the tile. Uh, well, that's not bad. Nice porcelain tile. Uh, there's some more tile. Yep, just like I said. So for 450 grand, you're going to get, uh, sorry, 350 grand, you're going to get um, a granite island, granite countertops in here. And let's go upstairs and look at the master bathroom. <laughs> I feel so bad about trespassing. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So uh, interesting. I, I've had customers on occasion want to do a border vertically, uh, not very often, but it has happened. So they don't have a border horizontally, but they have one vertically. Nice long four foot bench. What do you need a four foot bench for? And a tiny little niche. I would have had a shorter bench and a bigger niche, <laughs> but that's me. Yes. No slope on the curb. <laughs> New construction. And look at the grout line. Now, again, shower panel is going to go here, panel is going to go here, and then the shower door will be right there. I'm positive of that, so nobody will ever see this grout line. Um, the problem is, when you have no slope, new construction on a $350,000 house, come on, use a marble top or something on here. Why have, look at the, how many grout lines, dozens of grout lines, totally unnecessary. Then they're going to caulk in the panel, caulking the panel, water will seep through the caulking eventually, get into that grout, and I hope they built the curb good because otherwise there's gonna be a definite failure on here. Um, slope is good on the shower floor. No problems there, but I, this, this curb, that's a bad, bad construction of the curb. Uh, slope on the bench. Why would they slope the bench and not slope the curb? And a very slight slope on here. Um, otherwise, I really like it. I like this uh, color. Um, I like the color of the tile. And I like that they've integrated it into the tub area also. But again, my take on it, uh, my take on it is that um, you've got a huge garden tub for the huge amount of money you're spending it's not even a jacuzzi tub so i don't know I did, personally if i'm going to spend that kind of money i'm going to want a jacuzzi tub but i'm not here for that i'm here for the shower um, but so you saw previously how the shower was built um, there's no pre-slope they may or may not have wrapped the curb well <laughs> but they got it done regardless the tile is directly to the wall directly to the wall which is a little easier to do when you have new construction um, I'm not really feeling a lot of lippage. There's a little bit here. Uh, the problem with, with setting tile directly to the wall is that your wall is usually not even and then your tiles aren't perfect either. <clears throat> so then you end up with a lot of lippage. Setting the, the tile directly to the wall like this basically means that they didn't use a lot of thin set 
either they, they back lettered their tile and stuck it straight to the wall or they troweled up their thin set and stuck it to the wall. Either which way, it's a very dangerous thing to do on a retrofit on a on a in your home, it's not a good thing to do. On new construction, when you can get all of your backer boards straight, flat, and all that stuff, yeah, okay, it works. Um, but it's not something that's desirable. And this will be the last one that I do. Um, I've trespassed in this uh, neighborhood long enough. This is a little interesting. This guy decided to go all the way up his wall. Good three feet almost. About two and a half feet. Uh, but then again, the curb isn't covered. I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. Um, went up pretty high over here also. Interestingly enough, they glued another pan liner again. Not sure why they did that. Um, I know pan liners, one, two, three, four, five. That's five foot. The, the widest pan liner you can get is six foot. So a six foot wouldn't work. Maybe that's why they uh, scabbed that in. Only thing that bothers me here is that they didn't center the drain. Having said that, on the other video I did, there was a bench back here. So I'm assuming once the bench is put in place that the drain will be center. Having said that, I wouldn't build a bench with inside, within the shower itself. The bench should have been on the outside, and I didn't even notice on the other one if it was inside. Well, I couldn't notice because it was already finished. But that's my take on it. I think the reason they went up this high, because eventually there will be a bench up here. Um, just not a fan of putting the bench inside of a shower pan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.